Hello guys and welcome to tutorial 8 in this Visual Basics learning series. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be learning about three types of ears in Visual Basics. Um, the first ear that we're going to be learning about is a syntax ear. And now what a syntax ear is, is when you type a code pretty much wrong compared to the Visual Basics keys, um, the, the set of conventions and um, rules that they have set out for a code. Which an example of this would be um, dim int um, example as in tag egger dot oh, whatever. Now this could probably be considered as um, a logic error to whenever you're running this and you have no idea why it's not being assigned to an integer but we'll get to logic errors in a minute. Um, a key whenever you mess up a keyword in um, Visual Basics it's called a syntax error and this is pretty much it should be dim and since it uh, has an extra M on it, um, that would be definitely considered a syntax error. Now the next error we're going to be talking about would be um, a logic error. And what a logic error is, is whenever you're typing a code and you you type it up and you get all this code done, but whenever you run it, it doesn't produce the results that you wanted it to. And it actually produces, I mean, it compiles with no errors, and there's no way to find the error unless you go back through your code and scan over the logic in it. That's hence the name logic error. Anyways, that's a pretty simple error, and the third error we're going to be talking about would be a runtime error, and this is one of the most deadly errors that I really can't stand. Um, what this means is when you're running a code and it compiles successfully but there's some kind of weird thing that you're doing that just doesn't work out with um, the compiler and all that good stuff. But an example of this, a runtime error would be if you're declaring an integer and then you go back and try to edit it as a string. If you're trying to make int answer equal something like hello world which is a string, it's saying that a number cannot equal a string. So when you run this code you will get First, I'm going to stop debugging. I was testing this. And we're going to start it back over. And first of all, we're going to actually delete this first. So just in case this doesn't mess up my example of a runtime error, we're going to run this now. And I just made a new form for this. Whenever you click test, you will get a runtime error, and there should be a little box that pops up around in here. Um, you'll understand what a runtime error once we start reading this. Um, conversion from string hello world to type integer is not valid. Now that would be considered a runtime error since it, you're trying to um, change an integer into a string. That's pretty much all on integers and um, errors and strings and um, syntax ears and logic ears. Um, that's all for this tutorial and I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and good night.